We have a speaker this evening, Richard Ball, who works for Keston Technologies on an advisory basis. And as he mentioned in his speech, he's um, helped over 100 companies in, in Wales try and invest in Australia over the last 10 years or so. So the presentation gave an overview of Australia and also gave some hints as to the types of sectors which Australia would welcome um, exporters moving into if, if they're thinking of going to um, Australia or the Pacific Rim. Lots of opportunities. Um, there's a big uh, resource boom happening at the moment, has been happening for a few years in Australia, which is one of the reasons why Australia's economy was very resilient in the, in the, low, in the, in the recent uh, economic crisis. So Australia didn't go into recession. Um, and there's opportunities associated with that. There's opportunities in, in manufacturing, um, in biotechnology, in information and communications technologies. So across the board, really, um, very similar society to to here, but with uh, a lot of resources behind it. Uh, absolutely, yes. I mean, there's a great opportunity at the moment also because the strength of the Australian dollar. Um, so compared with 10 years ago, the, the dollar um, is almost twice as strong compared with the, the British pound as 10 years ago. So effectively, what that means is that British uh, services and products are now uh, about half the price to an Australian as they were 10 years ago. So. A lot of UK companies are actually finding it much easier, much more competitive to export to Australia. I was on um, Wales Trade International on, on a trade mission with them. A woman came up to me and she said, uh, I'll buy the stand of you. She said, you know, how much is it? And I said, well, it's about £8,000. I said, worth of products. Um, and that's at wholesale price. She said, you sell what you can, she said, and I'll buy the rest at the end. So. Right, I didn't organise then for it to be brought back, the transport back, because I'd sold it. I was on a pie, fantastic. Um, come the end of the show then, everybody's packing up. I went over to see, I said, look, I've had anything up. I said, it came to something like £5,300. I said, here's the products. I said, uh, I even paid some uh, guys to help bring the products over. Here's the products. Um, can I have my payment, please? She said, oof. She said, I can't pay no, she said. So well, when do you expect to pay me then? She said, well, I can give you some now, she said, but you can't have it all. I think I had about a thousand pound off her at the time. And she said, I'll send it on to you. Don't worry, she said, you'll have it. Weeks have gone by. I'm uh, faxing back and forth. During that time, um, we weren't so much savvy on the internet. And uh, I was just chasing the money all the time. It is evident in the end, the money was never coming. But I would tell anybody, if ever you're going to do a business, make sure it's all contracted, everything is in, and go through a solicitor.